Hello, my name is Dr. Becca, and this is my daughter Carmen. You want to say hi. Her? <laughs> and hi, hi everyone. Uh, we are in our backyard today, having a good time, and we want to learn about a special creature that many of us can find in our backyards. What is it? Earthworms. Earthworms. Everybody knows that. <laughs> So if you want to learn a little bit about earthworms, you can uh, play along with us today. Let's get started. What should we do? We should start digging. Digging. Okay. First, we're going to need a shovel. <laughs> okay. So this is a great place to dig for earthworms. This is actually in our garden we have on the side of the house. Do you see one? Yeah. Look, Look I Mom, one. I got one. Ah! Okay, I'm a friend. <laughs> Can I see it, Carmen? So it's really wet, right? Good. So that shininess is the mucus on its skin that helps it to breathe air. Wow, that's super cool. <laughs> it can breathe air through its skin. <laughs> Yes, exactly, Carmen. So earthworms don't have a nose like we do or lungs like we do. But they do have a mouth. It's just really tiny. That's right. So just like you said, they breathe through their skin. Looks like we have uncovered three earthworms. They're kind of small. Three earthworms, and we've put them here in a bowl with a, a wet paper towel to keep them uh, nice and, and, and wet. I made their homes. Oh, um, yes. Carmen made their home. This is, a, this is a wonderful little home for now. We're going to put them back in the garden in just a second. Can you see its eyes? No. That's right, because it doesn't have eyes. What the heck? That is so cool. But mommy, um, <laughs> if earthworms don't have eyes, how do they see? Ah, they can sense where the light is. They have these things called photoreceptors that let them know where it's light and where it's dark. Are earthworms afraid of the dark? I know some kids that are afraid of the dark. Oh, yes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they get scared of the dark. Um, if they stay up here in the light for too long, they'll dry out. And if they dry out, they can't breathe. And if they can't breathe, what happens? They'll die. That's right, they'll die. So deep down in the dark soil, it's a very happy place for them. And right now, while we're, while we're checking them out, we wet this napkin and we're giving them a little bit of, of shade here so uh, they won't dry out. Okay, are these earthworms boys or girls? Uh, that is a great question. So one of the really cool things about earthworms is that they are both a boy and a girl at the same time. What? <laughs> Earthworms are very special like that. They have both boy parts and girl parts. Yeah, that is special. Yeah, that's very special. Get up, be really gentle. Will it bite me? No, um, earthworms don't bite. They don't have any teeth. Like my brother. Yeah. Well, he has a couple teeth. That's right. So you said earthworms don't have ears. If they don't have ears, then how can they hear? Ah. Okay, let me show you, actually. Now, I want you to close your eyes and cover your but ears. But if our chimney's closed, how can Santa get in? That's a great question, and we will cover that in just a bit. Close your eyes and cover your ears. And when you do that, I want you to tell me if you feel anything. Okay, okay but don't tickle me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah? Oh, you did? Yeah, but I didn't hear you jumping. Oh, you knew I was jumping though. How did you know? I felt the vibration. You felt? You felt me jumping? If you couldn't hear me jumping, could you have felt me jumping? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yep, I could. Yep. Yeah. So that is how earthworms can hear. They can feel the vibrations going on all around them. They can probably feel us, uh, you know, walking around them and moving around them because they can feel the vibrations in the ground. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you tell me other cool things about earthworms, Mom? Indeed I can. Point to your heart. Where is your heart? That's right. That's where your heart is. You and I beep, beep, have how beep, many hearts? Beep, 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 beep. How many hearts? Everybody, I'm being a little silly here. <laughs> how many hearts do you have? 
One. One heart. Mm -hmm. Your heart pumps blood all over your body. Yeah, okay. like this. Pump, 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 pump. Even through your life. Pump, yes. pump, pump, and it goes to keep you alive. Yes. Without your heart, if somebody cut your heart, you would die. That, that is true. So earthworms need a heart too. They do? They do, but they don't have one like you and me. They have... Five hearts. They have five hearts. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same as your heart and my heart. Their hearts are found really close to their heads. What the? Okay, that's interesting. That is. So here's our earthworm. And as I mentioned, an earthworm has five hearts. And the hearts are shaped more like rings. They're not so much like our hearts. I'm going to put the hearts on the earthworm. Carmen, will you help me count them? Sure. Okay, ready? In Spanish. Ah. That's even better. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. And see, here's that ring around the earthworm that is closest to the head, so you know where the head of the earthworm is. How old are you? Five and three quarters, almost six. Those will be uh, six cents up from them with my birthday party. That's right. So earthworms have five hearts, and Carmen is five. Coincidence? I think not. Mom, I have a question. Okay. But I have to use a not really nice word to ask. Oh, okay, yes. Do earthworms poop? Do they poop? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They do. Earthworms poop and plants love it. Ew! <laughs> it's true. So earthworm poop is called a cast. Why Why don't you just call it poop? Poop is poop. Everybody poops. Yeah. Well, yes, fair enough. Earthworms like to eat rotting roots and leaves. When they poop them out, their poop is like vitamins for the plants. They also make little tunnels in the ground that let in air and water. That's really good for the plants too. Yeah, you're right, it is. Maybe we should put them back in our garden. Do you wanna put them gently back in our garden? Can you put them gently back there? Good job. Friends, before we go, I have a surprise for Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> It's always good. It's always good, my surprises? Mm -hmm. I have a game. I have a game. You can't find it in stores yet. Um, so this is a really exciting uh, presentation that we're about to make for you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? <laughs> she knows mommy's games are dorky. The game. Yeah. Pin the heart on the earthworm. Yeah, yeah, cool enough. So. Pin the heart on the earthworm, yes, hello, requires us to put these hearts on this earthworm. Do you think that's easy? Yeah. Easy enough? Yeah, but easy you, enough. yeah? But you have to do it, are you ready? Blindfolded. <laughs> ready? Okay, okay. Okay, turn around. Okay, now you can't look, you can't look. That's, that's not how you do it. <laughs> One, two, The hearts aren't in the all the right places, but close enough. So that's what we learned today. That's our lesson that teaches us about earthworms. I hope y'all have a great summer <laughs> finding earthworms in your garden. Those of you who have them. Bye, friends. Bye.